how are we doing today? Uh, this is a, another um, a video under the banner of the Warrior Teacher Programme. If you want to join us, we've still got our May cohort coming together. Please do let me know. Links are in the doobras below. Um, I hope not to keep you too long this evening, uh, but I thought it was a good idea that I gave you first glance of this before I sent it. Link is in the doobras, okay? So you can have a look and see what I've been up to. The Warrior Teacher Programme was set up in order to help people um, learn and to come together in a collaborative endeavour that is designed to help them take on schools, organisations, individuals, councils, anybody else that comes along who was pushing pseudo-scientific and anti-science anti and anti-human belief systems, which have been exposed by not just the WPATH files, but also Dr. Hilary Cass. One of the largest and most important festivals of the year for Manchester is Manchester Pride. This, alongside uh, other smaller events during the year, has always been, up until a certain point, a celebration of the gay and lesbian movement. Unfortunately, it lost its way many years ago. Post CAS, and in regards to safeguarding of looked after children, for example, which is a council responsibility, it is absolutely imperative that Pride does not become a super spreader event for the harm that we know is being caused by social transitioning, by websites, by support service from groups such as Mermaids. So it's time for some questions to be asked of Manchester Pride. And I've laid out in a document what I think is the problem, what caused this and what action I think this should take. With examples and reference, I'm no academic. It's not a legal paper. It's just me saying, here, what are you going to do about this? So I put the link to it in the Dubris and I thought it would be a good idea, a good idea if we started with a quote from Carl Sagan. I worry, said Carl, that especially as the millennium edges nearer, pseudoscience and superstition will seem year by year more tempting. The siren song of unreason more sonorous and attractive. Where we have heard, where we heard it before, whenever our ethnic or national prejudices are inflamed or aroused. In times of scarcity, during challenges to national self-esteem or nerve, when we organise about our diminished cosmic place and purpose, or even when fanaticism is bubbling up around us, then habits of thought familiar from ages past reach for the controls. The candle flame gutters, its little pool of light trembles, darkness gathers, the demons begin to stir. And that's from Carl Sagan, The Demon Haunted World, Science as a Candle in the Dark. There is no doubting now that a pseudo-scientific, cult-like belief system has grasped our society in an extraordinary way. And that the work of women, <clears throat> mostly, and men who have been trying to bring this to the fore, is now beginning to pay off in the, in the form of uh, the cash report and the previously mentioned WPATH files. This, along with the work of the likes of Akua Reindorf in regards to free speech in universities and Further studies, a new one which was out this week, showing that tra that, uh, that transition uh, causes huge mental problems and uh, real serious self-harm, means that we are now in a position where we have to be careful about what it is that we're doing in public, especially if that public is going to include children. To that end, I have written to Manchester City Council uh, and to the safeguarding team and sent this to various other organisations so that they can, they can begin to look at what they're going to do next. And I've done it through primarily a safeguarding lens, which is the only lens to see gender identity ideology, transgenderism, and all the born in the wrong, wrong body stuff. Safeguarding is the only lens to now see it through. It is iatrogenic damage. It is damage to gay and lesbian children. It is gay conversion to therapy 2.0, and it divorces people from the reality of their bodies. It's a terribly dangerous thing for children. Its proliferation method is mostly social media, but also companies going into schools selling this snake oil. So I began, and I'll just give you a short excerpt. The document endeavours to illustrate the safeguarding dangers, hostile, harassing and discriminatory nature of Manchester Pride Council activities, including ideological capture, tactics used by them to encourage mass adoption of philosophies and theories that are antithetical to some of the protected characteristics of the Equality Act 2010. So that's one of the first things we're bringing in. It will also attempt to illustrate that they have been and are complicit in the biggest mental scandal of a generation, with medical damage to children and young people alongside gay conversion therapy practices, 
via transing the gay away. The analysis, sorry, this is in the growing knowledge that the ad adoption of a mental health fetishistic paraphilic movement has and will continue to damage people until it is stopped. The analysis predominantly covers the period from 2015 to 2024, though other dates may be mentioned. The core of the potential unlawful discrimination practices and support of gay conversion therapy are during this period. Stonewall, who have adopted and spread the misinformation and prevailing toxic philosophies since approximately 2014, have already been the subject of analysis by BBC Sounds, despite considerable resistance, and mentioned explicitly in the aforementioned Reindorf document. The theor theoretical assertion that I am making in, s in sending this document to all the councillors in Manchester and other interested parties, including businesses and organisations, is that Manchester Council slash Pride, in agreement with others, have created an environment focused solely on niche political and cultural belief systems and that in doing so have created a hostile and medically dangerous environment for gay and lesbian people, women and children. That they have, by error of judgment, or deliberate misconduct in public office, which is a crime, by the way, misconduct in public office, have become complicit in the adoption of gay conversion therapy, homophobia and exclusion of others by belief, sex, sexuality, and in doing so, jeopardised and profited from medical harm, particularly regards children. Go and read it. There's a link so that you can get it. In the in the in the YouTube's, you know, in the doobers below. Uh, do please, if you can, buy me a coffee. Subscribe as a jester, right? Then you get to hear about all this stuff up front. Subscribe as a jester, right? Or better still, become a warrior teacher because they are battling exactly the same thing as I am in this case with Manchester Pride and Council. So if you can join us, please do. Starting in May, six quid a month. Come do it. I'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>